Um, you want to talk about an attack on women's health care, it's called Obamacare. It's an attack on the health care of women and men and children in this country. Uh, deductibles up, premiums up, the quality of health care down. And most of the folks who came down to the mic, I can't say all of them, I think probably all of them, uh, if they were here, voted for Obamacare, and the American people are having to live with the results of that. Now, that's an attack on the health care of American women. This legislation simply says that there ought not to be taxpayer dollars going to pay for abortions in this country that one person shouldn't have to pay for the abortion of another person, whether it's on moral grounds, conscience, uh, their religion. You shouldn't make one person pay for another person's abortion. It's pretty simple, and the American people overwhelmingly agree with that point of view. That's what this legislation is about, and it's through Obamacare as well. The same thing, through insurance or otherwise, you shouldn't force one person to pay for another person's abortion because they're opposed to it. Today happens uh, to be a day that's important to me. It's, it's the day I was born. It's my birthday. Um, it also happens to be the date that the, uh, I would say, infamous uh, decision, Roe v. Wade, uh, came down. Uh, my birthday is 53. This was 1973 that Roe came down. And on this day, I can't help but think um, of those millions and millions and millions of Americans uh, who do not exist today because of that uh, decision. And this obviously is related to that, but it's mostly about the choice that a person has to make, and if they make that choice, should somebody else have to pay for it? The law says no. I agree with the law. Support this bill. I yield back. The gentleman's time has expired. The gentleman